Well, Superintendent Jason Cameras told me he really doesn't think RPS purchased 44,000 laptops since the start of the pandemic, but the auditor is standing by his report. So RPS's senior internal auditor, Milton Parker, did not hold back during his presentation to the school board Monday night. There needs to be a huge cleanup. Parker told the board about the results of his audit into the school system's Chromebooks that were purchased using federal CARES Act dollars. He found more than 20,000 laptops worth $5.8 million were never assigned to any students and called them an excessive number of devices. I thought that the phrasing of excessive use of devices or excessive devices in storage was illustrated a little bit of bias. But school board member Liz Dorr disputed that number, saying the superintendent believed RPS only bought 25 to 26,000 computers, not 44,000. So there was no way there could be 20,000 spare laptops sitting around. But I do think that it was a little bit misleading to the public because the public now thinks that we have 20,000 laptops sitting in storage that we can't get, we haven't given to kids. And what we've just illustrated from this discussion is that that's not the case. As we know right now, we do have 20,000 machines until mm -hmm. we can, until we can. the process is carried all the way out because we don't have a way and these machines are not being reconciled. There is no inventory process. Parker also found that of the nearly 22,000 laptops that were assigned to students, more than 1,800 of them are still in the possession of former or inactive students because there didn't seem to be a formal process in place to monitor the collection of Chromebooks when students leave RPS or to ensure they are returned when schools close for summer break. He also said over 2,000 students had between two and five laptops assigned to each of them, and there was no process in place to retrieve Chromebooks from students who had never returned their previously issued device. Instead, RPS staff just handed them another laptop. Here's school board chair Shonda Harris Muhammad. This is a this is 101 organizational management. There has been a breakdown in processes and procedures that do not exist equitably at each school. Parker said RPS hired a third party contractor to handle the purchasing and deployment of the laptops and he confirmed with them multiple times that their records showed RPS had 44,000 laptops. TIG does all of the purchasing for us so we could send in an order, hey, we need more and they'll just purchase more. And then we said this is a this is a risk or the the problem with having very loose controls. We're going to go through it and see and whatever it is, it is. And uh, again, we'll put it all out there. And if things need to be changed, obviously with asset management, the auditor uh, laid out a number of things. I'm very grateful for that. We're making those changes as well. Now, school board member Nicole Jones requested procurement documentation that would show just how many of these laptops were purchased by the school system. She is asking for that information by the next school board meeting.